Hi, here is a little tutorial to show you how to replace uh, the FBX inside of your Unity project. The FBX is basically the model itself, the mesh, the armature and everything. Uh, you can find those this file in the model FBX folder in here, it's this. So uh, let's take a look at Blender. I've done some modifications to my model in here. So you can see that there is a bracelet, some more piercings, no more color in here, and a bunch of little things. Um, so there is a very important things, thing that you need to know. There is two ways to easily replace the FBX. The very easy way is when you didn't touch anything related to the bones. You can you can do some weight paint, it won't it won't matter, but if you touch anything related to this uh, I'm gonna show you the, the actual okay so this is the armature those are your bones. If you didn't touch anything in here in your model, you will be able to use the very easy way, the first one that I'm gonna show. And if you touch something, you will need to use the second way. So let's go back to the original view. The easy way is to save your new FBX with the exact same name that it is in the Unity project in here. So what I'm gonna do is F2 on this, Control C to copy the name. I'm gonna go back to Blender, use Cats to export. Um, I'm gonna make a little basic tutorial about Blender and I will link a tutorial to how to uh, install cats. It's very important. You will need it if you want to make changes on your uh, Archer model or Adir. So I'm going to use the button export. It's going to tell me blah blah blah. I'm just going to continue and save it in here. And I'm going to control V the name I got in Unity and export. When it's done, you need to go back to your Unity, open one folder with your FBIG that you just created, and then you're gonna need another one that you can find in Unity by cli right clicking the FBIG and show in Explorer. Okay, so now you need to use the right click on your mouse to drag it into the Unity folder and when you release it's gonna ask you some stuff and you will say copy here and then replace. Let's see what it does. It should be alright and it's not. It's not because I it's not because I touched the bones on the tail. So this is the perfect example. This won't happen if you didn't touch anything related to the bones. It won't happen. It will look perfect. But in my case, I cannot use this way because I touched the armature. So let's go for the, se the second way. Uh, this is this is it for the first way. You can just upload it that way. It, it will work. Not in my case, but for you it will. Uh, let me reactivate the tiny bones and everything to see if everything is still usable. Yeah, they are all at the right place. So I will be able to use the exact same project to, to do the, the second uh, manipulation which is using a pumpkin tool. So I'm gonna first rename the FBX 
to shade batter 2.8 because it doesn't matter anymore. I'm gonna drag the new FBX in Unity. So here is the new FBX. Before doing anything, you will need to set up the rig because you are starting from fresh. So you need to go into this rig tab in here. Uh, animation type will be humanoid. You will need to apply this. And then you must go to configure. There is a couple important things to do in here. I'm gonna move my butt because I'm on the way actually. Here we go. So you will need to get rid of some things no matter what device you're using. Uh, the toes first. You can just click the little circle in here and type whatever you want to access the known thing. Double click. Do it for both of the toes. And in head in here, you also need to get rid of ja. Now, regarding of your device, you will need to do something more. If you are an index user, you're good with that. You don't need to do anything else. But if you use Vive or whatever other controllers, you will need to go to the left and right hands to do this. This is how Unity plays the things by itself, but it, it won't work. It's gonna act weird if you don't have index controllers. So you need to get rid of those three proximal, uh, those three little fingers in here. The red is normal. And you need to put them back in the re ring finger. So click the first one, type PI, which uh, are the first letters of the fingers you, of the bones you want. This is the left hand. So I'm gonna go for pinky stinky one L. 2L, 3L, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the right hand, and 3R. If you make a mistake, it's gonna it's gonna appear red, so you cannot mess up with it. It will tell you that you made a mistake. When you're good, you can click on done and apply. So let me go back to my original place. Here we go. Uh, now you're ready to port your new FBX. So you can just open back your scene, drag, drag the new FBX in the actual hierarchy in here. You can hide the first one. You will need to apply back your materials. etc. Um, and then this is the moment you're going to use the Unity tool, which is called Pumpkin. I will provide you the link to it in the description of the video. So all you need is taking the package and drag it into your assets. Make sure your SDK is updated. If not, it won't work. Import. You should get a new button here called Pumpkin. Just use it to open the avatar tools. You can take the tab and grab it in here. That's what I usually do. The first slot above everything is the target. So it's the new FBX. You can just take it and drag it in here. The second slot in here is the source of what you want to copy. So you're gonna take the old root in here and drag it here. To be sure, you can click select all and then copy selected. And boom, as you can see, 
all the dynamic bones and the colliders are back in the new FBX. It's it's not just porting the dynamic bones, but also your ViewChat avatar descriptor. There is everything in here, all the layers and the view position is set up. It's, it's doing all the work for you. And this is it. You're, you're ready to upload this new FBX in-game. Have fun with that.